well done, Willie. Another win. What what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, th- I think a bit like last week it was uh, you know really good first half. Uh, um, we, we we started off we didn't start off great, did we? And we had that, that ten minutes in the bin. But what I was happy about was how we sort of responded to that. We we, we got our flow after you know ten to fifteen minutes. Um, found our groove and, and I thought we'll obviously we're, we're well in control on the scoreboard and um, uh, yeah and, and we come out in the second half we had a plan that we wanted to build it again uh, we did make a lot of personnel changes which I don't think we handled too well um, but obviously it was deliberate um, I just think we, we probably went we started playing more as individuals um, more so than than as a team mm. is it strange those parallels t- to last week or is it quite understandable Considering the context of the game at half time. Oh, look, we, as I said, we, we made a lot of personnel changes. So we had, you know, Ben Reynolds was playing his first game. So Mikey and Ben haven't played together in the halves. And then um, we, we, we put James Batchelor to 13. He hasn't, he hasn't played, a re- he hasn't done a rep of 13 um, all pre season. Corey Hall's played in back row, you know, and I want to keep him um, sort of, you know, as an option as a back rower. So he needed to play there, but you could see that his timing was out. He hadn't played for a bit. Uh, we moved Stoz to the back row. Yeah, there was, as I said, there was some, there was some uh, personal change, in, and you could see that with probably the flow and what it looked like. It's a lovely position to be in, though, Willie. Sat here again after a 50-10 win, looking at what was the phrase used, fix-ups. Yeah, yeah, it was... Uh, well, it, I always say you don't let the scoreboard sort of dictate... Um, your performance, like I think you can you can win games, and some people don't understand it, but you can win games and play extremely well. Um, but there's bits and pieces in that game that didn't go your way, um, but you want to hold on to a lot of it for going forward. And and on the flip side, I think you know there's a lot to like about what we did in that first half, um, plenty to like what we did. And then obviously in the second half, it was a as I said, there was an opportunity there because of the scoreboard to be able to move some some players around. Um, and, 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 and it showed, you, you could see that. Talk to us about the three changes you made with the <coughs> 17 tonight, Willie, and, and why? Um, Dean Hadley had a tight calf, so he, he could have played. That's why he ended up, um, he was 18th man, but it was more so that we didn't want to risk him. Uh, Jez Litton, um, I, I wanted to play Ben, and I didn't know what that looked like, uh, whether it was going to be at hooker or, or at half. Uh, so Maddie. Um, when knew Maddie could go play a full game if, if we needed to, so we rested Jez. Uh, and there was one more, Joe Burgess, who's got a, he had a, it gave him to a captain's run, he's got an Achilles, um, which he didn't pull through, so that's why we made those changes. And I wanted to give Corey, um, and as I said, Ben, and uh, who was the other one? Louis. And Louis, Louis an opportunity, yeah. So I think um, it was, a, there, as I said, there was some forced ones for, for a couple there, and then, um, as I said, we rested Jez. Did they take their opportunity? Yeah, I think they did. I think I mean Louis. Louis obviously had a couple of errors in the second half, which um, which he needs to to, to work on. Um, but I thought he ran strong. I thought he uh, uh, his effort was good. So that, that, that's what I mainly look at. Uh, yeah, as I said, there's some individual sort of fix-ups there for him. Um, you know, Ben Reynolds' first game took the line on a fair bit. I like that, and and it's his first hit out, so he'll he'll be better for that. Um, and, and Corey Hall, uh, you know, back row is probably not his most natural position, but you know, Corey's gives us effort and, and he competes. And um, you know, I, I didn't mind what he did tonight as well. You give Jez a rest. Matt Parcell scores a hat trick. There's a, an argument. You've got two of the best hookers in the competition at <coughs> this club, isn't there? Oh, we've got two very good hookers. No doubt about that. I mean, there's some good hookers in the competition. Um, but that's yeah, we're, we're fortunate to have two. Two very good hookers, and I've always said that since I've been, you know, since I've came, and uh, we're in a fortunate position to be able to rest Jez and play Matt, and then you have the backup of of Ben. It's a, it is a good, strong position to be in at the moment. And to bring Elliot and Tyra again was that just with next week in mind? Yeah, I mean Elliot's played many games, and, and again because of the the scoreboard at the time, we're in a position there we could um, give some other guys opportunities, but give guys rest. I think Tyrone. Um, and, and, and many are key players to us and it was just an opportunity to, to be able to give other guys time and, and give them give them some time on the sideline. And we've not really mentioned Mikey Lewis either, um, television man of the match and kicking the ball really well to end sets, wasn't he tonight? Yeah, yeah, he's worked hard on it. It's something that he's that he's worked hard, he's in the sets and, um, and it showed tonight. I thought, I thought our kick chase was good. Um, that sort of set our, our defence up and, and winning field position off the back of his kick 
so yes, yeah, so there's, there's some, a lot to like with Mike taking the line on. Um, but as I said, there probably in that second half, we, we need a little bit more from our halves in terms of just a bit more direction. No. Not really much for me. Just Jay Whitbread. He looked to be hobbling a little bit when he came off. Is he? Yeah, he's okay. I think he's um, he, he's had a bit of a calf issue, but it was a an Achilles. I think he got a bang to his Achilles, but he'd be okay. Matt obviously will want to play more minutes than he's playing. He, he's obviously got the full eighty tonight and taking his chance. It must be quite difficult for you to keep him happy at times, especially when he plays that well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it was difficult to keep um, Jez happy last year as well. But there comes a stage where you need to look at. You know, Jez, where he's at in his career, um, Jez needs, needed the opportunity to, to make that nine his own. Um, and there's, we've got two hookers at the moment. I mean, Matt, Matt hasn't missed a game, I don't think, from, from not playing or not, sorry, not getting selected. There was one game that he missed from uh, uh, after round one getting suspended. But Jez's, uh, you know, Jez's time's come now where you know, he, he's, he's going to be the hooker at this club for you know, hopefully the next six, seven, eight years. Um, He's not young, he's 24 now, not 25, you know, 24, 25, so he's not a 20-year-old kid. So he needs his chance to, to prove himself and uh, Matt plays a role as well. So they both play important roles at the club. Mike, you're going to be uh, knocking on your door and saying he wants the kicking tea. <laughs> you up, yeah, it's, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to yeah, as I said all along, we've got Mikey, that's practising, working hard on it, Jez is working hard and, and to be honest, Ben Reynolds is probably our number one kicker, but we just left Mikey. I don't think we scored actually when uh, <laughs> when he came off, but Mikey was still gonna um, he was still gonna kick. So it will, we'll work out. I think um, Jez at the moment, and then we've, we've still got Mikey who, who can kick as well. So it's good. We're starting to be in a better position there. Yeah. I am not asking about the the uh, the tip tackle just to try and you know get a reaction, but obviously with disciplinary and everything, and big game next week. Are you worried about that one? The, the I don't know. I don't think it was that bad, was it? Yeah, I'd, I'd, what, from what I saw, I don't think it was that bad. So um, he was pretty shocked to get ten, but it is what it is. So yeah, I, but in saying that, I haven't, I, I couldn't see it clearly enough to go how bad it was. But uh, he got ten. That's for me definitely enough from from what it looked like. William, William, sorry, wrong, no. William, have you got to sort of temper the players for next week because obviously the fans are out for Challenge Cup revenge, so to speak. Uh, how are you looking at it? From your perspective, yeah. Well, we've played them twice since then, um, so for me, you know, the last year's last year. It's a, it's a new new challenge this year. It's it's um, yeah. We're playing in the quarterfinals of the, of the cup for 24, so it's not about last year anymore. But we had, uh, you know, we, we we got the opportunity to play them again two weeks later. We had a convincing win that that day, and then we put them out of the the finals last year. So that was a, a great response from the players. Um, but that was last year. So this year. New year, new focus, um, and obviously we, we want to win the game next week.